hi youtubers thank you so much for tuning back in recently my drone has crashed into a water uh, creek and uh, one of the video has crashed in this video i'll be showing you how to recover that video let me try to open the corrupted file uh, as you can see if you try to open this file it doesn't play because uh, the mp4 configuration has not been written properly so for this purpose i'll be needing a video which is similar to the resolution and other specs that is some other video recorded on the drone this is the sample video which is working properly and has a similar specs and resolution to the corrupted video well, let us copy both the videos to a separate folder on the desktop so that it will be easier for us to work on them In order for me to recover the corrupted video, I'll be using a tool called Untrunk. It's an open, so open source tool and it has very good uh, uh, stars and everything on GitHub. So for the sake of this video, I'll be renaming the file name so that it'll be easier for us when I'm using the tool. So let me quickly rename the files. You're pulling on my walls down. I've never been exposed to Let's create a folder and then clone the report to that folder. I'm gonna try to you out. I've always had a way of keeping closed. Once the repo is cloned, we'll be needing to install some dependencies. And let me install YASM, YASM, whatever you pronounce it so that we can use it to build uh, the untrunk calling out your name from the darkness thinking it's too late if you're fighting i'll be using the instructions available on the untrunk uh, github repository to compile the whole package you can follow the instructions or you can follow the video the untrunk command universally you need to copy the compiled untrunk application to your uh, bin folder so let me copy that to the bin folder Now the unrun command is accessible universally. Let's change the folder to the project folder and then try to recover the corrupted video. Tell me how you're feeling. Since you got me out in the open. Using untrunk is like pretty straightforward. You'll be needing to use untrunk space, name of the working video, followed by the name of the corrupted video. This is this will start processing the file and you should be having a working video at the end. Now I'm ready to dive in. As you can see the video is 100% processed. Let's check the final output. I know you told you it would be a slow burn. That's how you recover a video 
from the drone which has been corrupted due to the drone crashing and if you like this video do click on the like button and do subscribe thank you so much take care